express my sincere appreciation for Honorable Mia Raza Rabani, GM and Senate, for exemplary leadership and effort to strengthen this esteemed forum. Asian Parliamentary Assembly is indeed crucial in promoting unity and provides for a concrete framework for regional cooperation to strengthen human rights protection and democracy. Distinguished guests, Asian region is rich in socio-economic, cultural, geographical, and development aspects. Forward-looking trade policy, improved supply chain, and production networks have transformed Asia during the recent decades. However, major impediments exist, including violent extremism, transnational terrorism, and regional conflicts. As parliamentarian, we cannot afford to ignore threats that confront us. We must not brush these challenges under the carpet. Asia today stands as the most disturbed region in the world. From the Middle East crisis to the rise of Daesh and animosities of Southeast Asia, there are challenges before us. But let us not forget that democracies don't fight with each other. It, it is believed that democracy cannot claim to be the true representative of its people if it fails to protect the rights of the oppressed classes, especially women, children, and minorities. The APA member states, therefore, intervene for peaceful solution of all our outstanding disputes in light of the UN Security Council resolution and accordance with the aspiration of the people. Ladies and gentlemen, I firmly believe that foundation of all inclusive and truly representative Asian Parliament is the best way forward since it shall serve as the custodian of interest of Asian nations in dealing with increasing challenges. Let us not forget that while Asia remains the engine of global economy, out of 766 million people living below the poverty level, about 33% live in South Asia and 9% in East Asia and the Pacific. While the Asian tiger continues to reign the world market, it also houses 29% of the world's out-of-school primary age children. While Asia is the most populated continent, hosting 60% of the world's population, it is short of clean drinking water as 80% of its fresh water is used for irrigating crops. Across Asia, women are climbing the ranks in business and politics, but at the same time, gender-based violence is highest in Asia region, approximately 37 in Southeast Asia. While Asian region has contributed, to, contributed most in UN peacekeeping troops, this region has at the same time been marred by terrorism, coup d'etats, and autocratic takeovers. While the world's greatest contribution